What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys. So I was requested to check out this video. It's called Deleted Movie Endings Better Than the Original. Okay, so I mean, I'm pretty sure we've all seen a movie or two where the ending, it was I, you know, but then when you get it on DVD and then you see like the alternate endings or whatever, and it's like, they should have put this shit out for the ending. So let's go ahead and see what movies are on this uh, video. In about three, two, for some people, the ending is the most important part of a movie. A bad ending can be a deal breaker for film goers, which is why studios often shoot I mean, alternate that wasn't endings. A bad ending, Surprisingly, a lot of them are Elm actually Street. better than the ones we end up seeing. Spoilers ahead, obviously. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh -oh. Doesn't Terminator 2 Judgment Day end happily? The future remained hopefully uncertain until the sequels ruined everything. Oh. Originally, those sequels wouldn't have been able to exist. Early in the movie, we see Sarah Connor dreaming of a bleak future in which the world ends. The original ending had a what happy a reprise ending. of that scene. It's set well past the original Judgment Day, and an old Sarah Connor sits that watching her grandchild play as the, the city shines in the distance. Connor shit. smiles, knowing that she's finally ended the threat of that dark, sequel-filled future once and for all. Nightmare on Elm Street one of the films that kicked off the multi-sequel slasher craze, Nightmare on Elm Street, ends with Freddy seemingly defeated as Nancy hops into a car, happy as a clam. And then, Freddy Not really, because he up, snatched the shit out of her mom. Damn, and executes fuck. Nancy's mom in the creepiest possible way. <laughs> Just dragged her through the window. In the original script, Nancy drives happily into the distance, and that's it. That was kind of funny. That's though. the end. But the studio wanted sequels, so that last-minute surprise from Freddy catapulted us all into a whole bunch of inconclusive Elm Street oh, movies. Oh, shit, I remember that part. better... Now no one sleeps. <laughs> the Descent. Being a horror movie, The Descent ended pretty horrifying. After getting trapped in a monster-filled cave and ending up bastard. alone, Doom Spelunker, Sarah, escapes the depths, finds a car, and speeds away. When she stops, she sees the ghost of her no longer living friend Juno. Ah! Screams, and the movie's over. At least as far as American audiences saw. They had a full minute cut from the ending. In the deleted scene, Sarah wakes up, still in the cave and covered in blood. The escape was all a dream. She crawls toward a figure oh, that shit. turns out to be a hallucination of her daughter. As the camera pans away, we see Sarah, all alone, smiling at nothing. The knowledge that she's going to go with a smile on her face doesn't make her fate any less bone-chilling. Pretty Woman Pretty A magical woman. fairy tale ending wasn't the original That's idea my mama for favorite Pretty Woman. Movie. In the film, Richard Gere rescues Julia Roberts from her depressing apartment in life. Pouring so much money on her, she's probably smothered under the weight of all the gold. Oh. <laughs> but the original script provided a much more bleak, realistic ending. Gear and Roberts don't end up together. And the film ends with Roberts on a bus with her best friend, off to a day at Disneyland with a wad of cash. Despite Damn. feeling completely hopeless and lost. That's more like it. Little Shop of Horrors. I never heard of this. The ending to 1986's oh, Little movie. Shop of Horrors happened as you'd probably expect, with the human hero offing the carnivorous alien plant, getting the girl and living happily ever after. However, another filmed ending was quite a bit darker, because like in the 1982 musical, Ew, the plant that wins. Disgusting. Over a 12-minute musical number, the plant eats the heroic Seymour, and soon the planet is overrun with Godzilla-sized man-eating plants. It that looks like a hot ass jumping mess. through the screen, intent on eating you. Not no, the fuck you're with not. Nature getting sweet revenge on humanity. So it's too bad horrors didn't either. Ugh, Final put... Destination. What do the main characters in Final Destination want to do? Live. That's it. It's probably the most direct and succinct horror. But I mean, didn't they live at it the end? With the lead Dude characters and the girl. escaping before realizing that the horror and hasn't actually ended. But the original ending wasn't so bleak. Oh! Originally, two of the main characters had a child together, and this new life oh. put an end to the entire curse. Wait a minute. One Carter does a chance at a full life. A chance that I am not going to waste. Luckily, the creators realized that this was a brilliant film series that oh, should shit. never, ever end. You're dead. They changed it enough You're fucking so that dead. there could be more sequels. Oh! Damn! Freddy vs. Jason. One of the most important movies of all time, Freddy vs. Jason, was one of the first films to introduce two separate film franchises to each <laughs> other just to have them fight. The film ends with Jason emerging from a lake, triumphant, holding Freddy's decapitated head. That was good ending, though. So they both win. According to the commentary track on Freddy vs. Jason's home release, one proposed ending had both Freddy and Jason losing, falling oh. into hell together, where Pinhead from the Hellraiser series was waiting. Which would what? say Freddy versus Jason versus Hellraiser, which would have been the best Beyond movie no ever, what? Right. not for overly complicated movie rights. Scary. Why the fuck y'all didn't do that?
Listen, do y'all know how crazy that she would have been? Okay, Freddy versus Jason, then at the end versus damn Pinhead. Come on. Who scrapped that idea? Listen, but that shit was dope uh, with Freddy versus Jason when Jason came out the water. And then you know how they had like that amp up music. It was like, do, 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 do. I said, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. And then all of a sudden, Freddy ass was weak. I said, that shit was lit. But however, back in the day, that movie terrified the hell out of me. But for the most part, the movies that I've seen on this list, obviously Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy vs. Jason, Final Destination, they all had pretty good endings, though. But um, I'm a little bit confused. So, oh, girl from Final Destination, so she had a baby from the other guy? Because, I mean, I thought her and the blind head dude was it. I mean, it's been a while because I don't know the names by heart, but I, okay, I guess. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below what you guys thought about this video. Uh, and if you want, name some movies that you guys have seen, right, that um, you wish the ending would have been a little bit different. Okay, and let me know if there's anything I can react to for you guys next. Okay, don't be afraid. And hit that subscribe button, follow my Instagram, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Taylor Rain, I'm out this day.